And welcome back to IN Sports. Uh, now, since the departure of Corrine Hines and Marjorie Hyman as uh, the uh, flagship bearers for the women's uh, 3,000 meter steeplechase in Jamaica, the American based Aisha Pro Lair has become the new face uh, for the event for Jamaican female athletes with her record breaking and consistent performances over the last uh, three years. Pro Lair, who is on a one week training break, joins us now on set uh, to discuss her. Uh, career that has been growing and growing and growing and lots more. Aisha, welcome to Iron Sports. Thank you. First time, and it's Valentine's Day, yeah, so happy what a better Valentine's time to have you on set with us. Yeah, thank you. Happy Thanks Valentine's for having me. Valentine's Day as well. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Aisha, um, the, let me get to the Commonwealth Games because speaking off air, you pointed to that, uh, that the, the victory there in the 3,000 meter steeplechase at the Commonwealth Games as being the highlight of your uh, career so far. Um, just take us back to that to that moment when you, you got the better of, of the Kenyans. The moment was the best moment of my sporting career. Mm -hmm. I really had to battle to stay with the leader and I knew that I was gonna be racing the second fastest woman of all time uh, from Kenya and I knew that the race was gonna come down to the two of us. So I tried to keep her within striking distance and you know, you, when you're in the middle of a race, a distance race, you're out there for a while, you have some doubts, you have to fight yeah. through them. And I kept her within range. And when I realized that I had it, it was just a burst of joy. And the stadium was packed. Right. Apparently it was, the sound was deafening, but I couldn't hear anything until after I crossed the line. And then right. people were on their feet and my heart was just <laughs> racing even harder than it was when I was running. It was beautiful. And, and then to, to realize when you came across the line, first Caribbean person, man, woman or man, to, to win this event at the Commonwealth Games. I mean, just how satisfying is that for you um, when you when you look back? It's unbelievable, really. As, as an athlete, you work on the day by day and the moment by moment. And once you achieve something like that, it isn't until after that you realize how big of a deal it was. And it sort of all dawned on me in that moment of, wow, that was a breakthrough yeah. for everybody on the islands and to see that it's possible, um, yeah, it's left me speechless. Uh, uh, let me ask you this. I mean, you, f for the time being, you are the, the only um, Jamaican woman out there mm -hmm. in the 3,000 meter steeplechase. Um, before now, we had Marjorie Haim and Kareen Hines. Um, does it feel lonely for you? I mean, the, the Kenyans, they, they usually partner up, the Ethiopians, two, three of them. You're the lone um, yeah. Jamaican out there. Um, what, what is that like? Yeah, and I, I really like that you say for the time being because I hope that it's temporary. It would be really nice to have uh, more of a united front. I'm used to sort of running the same races with the same people from Ethiopia and Kenya and from the States. We sort of race the same usual suspects all the time, and it would just be so nice to have more than one bright yellow uniform on the on the starting line and to sort of have that comfort of the team mentality and a lot of the times race tactics go on and to have an ally would be really, really nice. And you know, for the time being, you continue to be a uh, sort of a pioneer uh, for Jamaica in the event. Um, is this pressuring in, in any way or how do you treat it? I mean, I think it, I treat it as an opportunity. If yeah. I put some pressure on myself, I could struggle, it, it could drown me a bit, but I see it as an opportunity to bring others along on this journey and to show that there are more outlets out there. And I, I mean, I like it. I, I thrive with the pressure and I, I see it as something that's beautiful and positive. Right. Coming into this season now, um, you, you competed recently at the Millrose Games and you had one other meet uh, done for the indoor season? Done, two and done, Why it was only really two? easy. Well, it's a long year. Um, there's no world indoors, and sometimes with distance training, I've been training since September. Um, I ran every single day except one from October through to last week. So it just gives me something to break up the training, but not too much that's going to sort of dampen my expectations for the rest yeah. of the year. And you competed on Saturday. Um, mm -hmm. An incident took place where... Uh, compatriot Kamari Campbell um, collapsed and we will be getting into that a bit more in the, the next segment as well but you were at the meet um, what was that like um, for you you didn't actually witness it but you were 
at the, the stadium, yeah. just done competing and, and heard about what took place. Yeah, um, as soon as you finish competing, you sort of descend down to where all of your, all your stuff is and where right. you've warmed up. And we were just about to head out, um, head out for our cool down. And um, my husband and my coach had come down and, and told us that uh, Kamoy had collapsed and that they didn't know it was going to happen. And it's just, it's gutting, you know, it puts everything into sp perspective. Sport is a powerful unifier um, and performances mean a lot. Yeah. But at the end of the day, it's human life. And, you know, sport is the expression of trying your hardest and, and pushing past your limits. And, you know, if, it, if your body can't handle it and it goes too far, then you realize how precious and fragile life is. And it's, yeah. it's, it's a lot of perspective yeah, in, a, in a short moment. Yeah, so so does, does it make you take a step back? Because and, and, you're also a distance runner, just yeah. like him always. So similar type of, of, of training, uh, yeah. you push yourself um, mm -hmm. to the limit. Um, this incident occurring, does it, is it worrying for you that, listen, I'll have to ensure that I do things within a certain limit or yeah. keep certain things in mind? Yeah, I mean, I was uh, <clears throat> speaking with my husband about it and... It's it's a freak accident. It's a freak incident. It happened, uh, luckily, in a space where we were across the street from a hospital. Um, but it does make you really take a step back and, and say, you know, why don't we just get a checkup at the doctor? Everybody right. can use it. Going to the doctor, you're never going to uh, feel bad that you went to the doctor. But just to take a moment and, and assess your health and make sure that everything's functioning well. You know, athletes are so used to pushing through pain and pushing through sickness and to make sure that everything is yeah. on track is important. Speaking of, of on track, the national trials ha that has been set for uh, June, uh, June 23, mm -hmm. June 20 to 23, yeah. I believe. Um, do you have any concerns about the, the, the date? for the national trials this year because there are some concerns as to yeah. um, it may be too close to some of the Diamond League meets mm -hmm. and, and, and other meets that will be going on at the same time. Yes, yeah, so um, it was interesting. I was just speaking with another Jamaican athlete um, at the Melrose Games because we were sort of under the impression that the trials would be held uh, sort of in the time region that all, the other countries are holding their trials, um, which to me makes a little bit of sense. Um, yeah, I mean, you want to pick the best team. And since the championship is later, you want to ensure that you have enough time to prepare for the, for the trial and then enough time to regroup and prepare for the championship. So I think whatever the decision is needs to stand so athletes can have enough time to prepare. If you go shifting the dates around too much, then you run a risk of not being prepared. I mean, I know my coach has, I've, I've seen the spreadsheets. He has my training set for months in advance, and we need to know sort of what it's going to look like so that we can prepare and be at our what best would be, when it matters. What would be workable for you as an athlete and, and knowing yeah. that the World Championships is later in the year, yeah. in, in September? I mean, I think for me it makes sense to have it later, um, but whatever it is, we have to be prepared for. A lot of being an athlete is being prepared for things that are unexpected, so um, yeah, I would prefer it to be later, but whatever it is, we can't change it, so that we have to be prepared. Of course, the World Championships is the, the big meet, the big picture yeah. this season. Um, what are your uh, personal targets for the season overall? Yeah, um, it's a long season, and I want to sort of dabble in some other distances as well to sort of reinforce um, all of my performances. So I think you'll see me on the track in some unfamiliar territory, maybe like a 5K. I've never raced a 5K on the track some 1500. So I'm going to be exploring sort of uh, other avenues and other race tactics. And, you know, my next goal, I've, I've won the Commonwealth Games. I've made finals. I really want to slide into sort of that top 10, top eight, top five sort of world ranking. So that's my, that would be the next yeah. nat natural progression. It's like, all right, I've been there. I have a, I have a medal. Let's mm -hmm. see if we can just keep sliding up. So mm -hmm. by the time the Olympic year comes, I, I can sniff yeah. Sniff some medals. All right, Aisha Prout yeah. thank you so very much for thank joining you. us here on Iron Sports. I can't keep up with you on the track, but certainly we try <laughs> keeping up with you on set. Thank, uh, thank you. you once again, and we'll continue to follow your progress. Thanks for having me. All right, All right then, we, we take a break. And when we come back, we're going to be speaking with uh, Dr. Akshay Singh about track and field and cricket. Soon come.